Legacy Model VP. Naku, lakad mo. Lakad mo na lang. Lakad mo na to. I'm uh, trying to get the farm that he needs. Uh, going into the, Again, it's going to be four uh, melee heroes coming out. Yep. And they decide to go the Bloodseeker, I think, in answer maybe to the Lycan and Shadowfiend as well. Consumable, then it uh, ends up stacking really, really well with that Black Tree. But towards the mid lane, it looks like Valky might just end up going down over here. There's a good stun coming in from no chance. The Dragon Slave is not going to get dodged. And in fact, Azur is going to draw first blood as Valky drops no chance. The Carapace is going to come through. He'll stay alive for a little bit longer. But Tsukimoto, will be feeling a bit aggressive, will force out a TP from no chance. But... That just works out in Azur's favor because not only is he going to get a bottle refill, he should also be able to find the water rune. Top lane, though, the Lycan again dropping low himself with the blood right. He is going to be taken down in Parasite. I believe that might have been uh, level two in the lead scene. However, in the bottom lane, Trish just uh, getting zoned. I mean, by the SF. And this is. Uh, the SF 1v1 experience, just an extremely oppressive hero against the Tide Hunter. As Chris just okay. now getting chased into the trees. This is sort of hard if you are the Tide Hunter, but look who's coming. It's gonna be Parasite on that tree protector yes. and Requiem being channeled by Fortune Soul. It's only level two, but it's gonna be more than enough to deal a decent amount of damage. Oh. The Tide Hunter is gonna fall, and so is, well, the Nyx Assassin. A bit of an awkward race coming through from Fortune Soul, but he's still surviving on a sliver of HP. Parasite needs one right click to get the kill, but that lead siege will do the job just as well. And Parasite. He might end up dying here for this kill, and looks oh. like he will in gonna ensue in a bit. I mean, both of these teams want to take down uh, the others mid tier one, but uh, yeah, both of these teams are not too keen on giving it up. Uh oh, Enrio looks like he's gonna end up dropping here in the top lane as CJ finds the rupture, is gonna be able to get the kill on that Bloodseeker yeah. with this. Whoops. Actually, gonna be in a very, very good spot Radiant securing Radiant some of that space, but oh no, Fortune Soul, he's what under, under a sentry ward, he's gonna get taken down here as Azur gets caught upon by three members from the side of Neon Esports. Can they take down the Lena? Yes, they will be able to, but again, CJ, he's gonna be here for the cleanup. Great two man stun from No Chance, catches out the Ember, catches out the Clockwork as well as the Remnant zip zapping around with the Fire Remnants trying to stay alive. Will succeed? Well, no, not really. He actually ends up dropping, but whoops. They've already lost four of their heroes. The Lycan came in for the cleanup as well. And at the end of the day, even though uh, the side of Neon lose two of their cores, so problem at all. Even with uh, Trian Protector, if he even if he uses the Living Armor to try and keep them alive, I don't think that the uh, towers will survive. Oh, uh, no chance. That's actually a very good spike. Calipers is going to make sure that he does not get caught on the cogs, but Chris is instead going to tag one for the demons that goes in, pops the Ravage. Can they find the Clockwork? Yes, they should be able to, but no, it doesn't seem like they're going to be able to as Andrew has cleaned up the Tide Hunter as well as the Nyx Assassin while all of that was happening. And now, Parasite, he could be next. The creep's chasing him. That ancient creep with the whole helm of the Overlord is gonna take him down. And Tsukimoto will get the credit for that kill. That arrow, make sure that Azur doesn't drop for simply getting slight of fist chained. Hated, however, well, gets no. ruptured. Yeah, I mean, hated getting ruptured. Means like there is gonna be a free kill for the side of Whoops. And now with the overgrowth committed onto two heroes, there's... No real follow-up whatsoever. Valky is actually just going to be able to walk it off. While it seems like the Shadow Fiend is oh, caught no. in an engagement of his own against the Bloodseeker. He's going to be able to take him down. And now Do-Man Chains looks like... Whoops, they might have bitten off more than they can chew. The Lycan Alt Farm is going to come through. They're going to be able to take down the Tree and Protector as well. The Wraith Pack gets dropped but immediately cleaned up by the SF. And so is going to be the Tier 2 Dyer's Tower as it gets taken down here. Oh, Tsukimoto extends, uh, overextends a little bit on that Mirana, but uh, it looks like Neon still might be able to get a revenge kill as well. He keeps him in place with the help of the Searing Chains as it does not let him move, but Azur actually turns around towards Valky, trying to take him down, but the right clicks from the SF are going to be there. In the end, the Nyx will claim the kill for the Ember. And the rest of the members of yes. Whoops might just end up keeping Whoops alive here. As Valky still chases forward, still is going to be able to find the route onto No Chance. And well, the Spike Carapace keeps him alive once again. Although the same might not be said about Azur on the Lina. As he's trying to turn around and fight. But the SF just deals too much damage with that minus armor. 
as he moves forward, looks towards the side hunter, is gonna be able to clean him up as well. Of course, keep dying from the side of whoop, it's gonna get much harder for them. So, uh, let's see how this next engagement will take place if yeah. they come out on top or they don't. I mean, Henry just walks in with the help of that shapeshift and Fortune Soul, he's actually fought in the middle of so many heroes. This does not pop the BKB, he's just gonna end up dropping. Not sure what the hell that was from the Shadow Fiend. And the Lycan's gonna go down as well. Valky, desperate to find some return kills, will be able to pick up Parasite, but that's all he gets. No chance, he's already got now this limited of HP. The BKB has now run out on Valky too. And looks like, uh, well, never mind, Valky actually never had that BKB in the first place. So he's gonna be going down, no chance, he went back in. With the help of the Impale and as well as the Mana Burn, he's gonna prevent Valky from getting out of this one alive. And even though Valky manages to take down no chance, he himself should end up dropping. He's trying to accumulate those stick charges, try to press it and then make it back Ooh. out towards safety. He's lacking 10 mana at the oh. moment, but he will be able to get back out here. Tsukimoto leaps forward, presses the Yules, and looks like he's gonna cop a fair bit of damage, but uh, nonetheless, does not die, and that's what's important. Esports, they're gonna move straight into Rosh and try and take it down the full side of Whoops. Can enter it and make any sort of play. The Tide Hunter, not too sure if he's got the playing dagger, but if he does, he needs to blink in right now because Rosh is gonna drop that blood right. It comes through, but it's a bit too late. And again, the Aegis goes through to the side of Neon. The indecisiveness of the side of Whoops really caused them a good ravage, though. Great turnaround coming in from Chris. They managed to catch on the Ember Spirit as well as the Clockwork and Mirana as all three members. From Neon Esports, uh, who did have BKBs, are gonna drop. The only one surviving is gonna be Fortune Soul and the Lycan. As whoops, yeah. they might have lost the ages, but they won that fight. Maybe he can pose a significant threat in these fights. Sure, you could still get yeah. overgrowth and you could get caught in place, but uh, yeah, you can still deal with that to an extent. Oh. Although I'm gonna have to hold on to that thought because Krush has been caught out, and again, the power of the clockwork shines through. Is able to go in with the help of that hook shot. Keep the Tide Hunter cocked up, and that's enough for the Shadow Fiend to beat him to a pulp. As whoops. Yeah. Lose their Leviathans oh, whatsoever from whoops. They do not have the Tide Hunter in position to deal with this. And Fortune Soul, oh my God. smelling opportunity, is gonna go through Azur. Actually, looks to burst down this SF right away. They are gonna succeed. They will get the SF the first time around. Valky tries to jump in, tries to create some space. The Ravage is gonna be available, but Dyer's Fortune Soul has got the BKB. The Rupture straight onto him as Fortune Soul continues to stand his ground and fight the Satanic. Well, doesn't even Easy. need to be popped. He's just life stealing away normally, and Paladin Sword is more than enough for the Shadow Fiend to keep him alive. Valky destroying the back lines in the meantime as whoops end up losing four of the heroes this should probably be the game as neon esports yeah. well yeah they're gonna go straight for the throne they're not gonna mess around here they know exactly that books do not have any buybacks remaining and gg is gonna get called neon esports will claim game one against the side of books in a very convincing match 34 yeah. minutes yeah this is uh a little bit better coming out from Neon Esports and books don't really have the best answer for this. And all right, it turns out it is going to be a core uh, tiny, uh, I and a core tusk, and a core hmm. juggernaut, or or from Neon Esports tell them everything that they need to know. Well, a two-man yeah. stun coming through from Sukimoto. This could be a little bit problematic for the side of Whoops. And in fact, CJ is going to turn around and drop the Blade Fury. There's going to be the arrow coming through from Krish as well as the Monkey King is going to drop. Now turning that attention towards Enryu. The Wiper surrounded by five heroes. It's going to get cleaned up as Parasite with the Crystal Lower. Will be able to find them another great shot block. Coming in from Tusk, Fortune Soul might just be next. He's going to go down. Parasite's going to find a double kill. Valky also has to be careful an arrow coming through Ooh. from Trish and they are gonna find fully eaten so many melt strikes now that because he doesn't have armor he's actually getting zoned out rather well top lane parasite's gonna end up dropping but can cj find the revenge kill he's trying very very hard to chase down and Ryu, and well he will get the crit on that right click cj yeah he's gonna be particularly pleased about that as i don't think he would have got and uh well this is oh let's get to be a little bit off the mark as Krish misses the arrow and he's gonna turn back and try to tuck his tail and run uh neon esports they do get a stack pull off though so that's gonna allow them to reset the lady equilibrium back in the fear of neon esports but the issue for neon is that i think that the ember spirit is out of region and that salve was yeah. the last little bit of region the lich had left top lane 
Enryu, he's gonna get the kill. TP out back to safety as it looks like CJ will not be able to find the kill. And Sukimoto has got the jingle stacks up, so he can actually take down CJ if CJ is not careful. As uh, bottom Ooh. lane looks like Gamma Spirit is gonna end up dropping in the TA, also dropped in the mid lane. So, uh, yeah, what top lane, I think, uh, you know, CJ is doing really well for himself. And uh, getting these repeated kills onto Enryu will be causing him a problem. If they're able to get him down here again, which is a possibility. Mm -hmm. What's the opposite of Regicide? Yeah, Enryu, he's actually turning around towards CJ, but CJ will finally be able to get the crit and find the kill. The healing ward's gonna come through, and CJ might actually be able to stay alive. In fact, he baits him back into the waiting arms of Azur, who's gonna be here with the tree throat to secure the kill on Sukimoto that consoles uh, life around and has to secure. Uh, quite a number of kills and they could come back in that lane at the very least. Top lane though, Parasite is gonna end up dropping. The Viper Strike's gonna be there and that's gonna be the death of the Crystal Maiden. Azur looking to find some revenge, will get the Avatars going. No chance is gonna be there as well with the tag team but NQ is actually gonna be able to turn it around. He's got a fair amount of damage on that Viper and Azur starts to drop low but with that next Avalanche he should be able to pick up the kill. As a slow pick comes through from the tiny, but the frost chain frost coming through from the lich might be able to clean up the tiny, although it doesn't really find him. They're able to delta split their way away. Well, that wasn't really the way they expected that fight to go. Fortune Soul has used his TP. He's now committed to this part of the map, and whoops can whoops can look to re-engage. They know or have an idea that Tsukimoto's up there on the high ground, but again, no chance getting caught out here. The snowball's gonna keep him alive for a little while longer. They're gonna go straight on towards Enry, who's gonna end up dropping courtesy of the Omni Slash. But the Wukong's command has come through, and it's blocking up the staircase, preventing Whoops and preventing Azur from joining this fight. And that's gonna be three dead on the side of Whoops. Could potentially be four over here as Azur jumps in. Balky eats a majority of that Avatar's damage, but does have the magic ball, so he's gonna stay alive for the time being. Sukimoto jumping forward. He wants to find another kill over here as Azur is all out of mana. And well, despite that bond, he's not gonna be able to stay alive. All five dead. Mm hmm Yeah, well, it looks like the Tiny is gonna be able to stay alive because of all of his armor. And in fact, it's gonna be Andrew who ends up dropping. Valky is gonna die as well. Sukimoto is running to try and join this fight and looks like uh, Neon, they might lose the Aegis, but are they gonna lose more? Yes, they are! In fact, the Templar Assassin is gonna be caught off guard with the arrow and now with the Avalanche Toss coming through, Fortune Soul might end up dropping. Good power strike though! That doesn't keep Fortune Soul alive for much longer, but it sure looked good for the time being. Trish, still alive, he's gonna go forward, and along with the help of CJ and Azur, there was no sentry ward there from the side of the Radiant, but now things will be revealed, no chance, oh, that plague was a bit too short, and he's gonna get melted courtesy of that Templar Assassin, however, the tree throw coming through, or rather the tree volley coming through from Azur is gonna keep the members of Neon Esports at bay, whoops. They've given away one kill, but they do not need to give away any more. They're gonna go full retreat mode and try to get back towards safety. As Neon Esports. Yeah, they punish uh, No Chances Blink and... Uh, yeah, I'm not too sure what happened there. That was a very, very short blink coming through from the Tusk. Oh, okay, yeah, well, it looks loose. like that they managed yeah, to catch out the Monkey King, yes, but there's going to be a two-man bounce strike, the PZP coming through as well from Parasite, they're going to be able to clean up the Lich as well as the Monkey King, there's the Omni Slash coming through, Enry is going to end up dropping as well, Valky still standing though on the Templar Assassin, but Azur goes in with the Avalanche, the Toss is going to be there, BKB TP out, but no chance, goes through with the Warrus Punch, cancels the TP, and that's going to be attack. And uh, if they're able yep. to get this uh, T1 on top lane which i think they're disengaging from not sure why uh they are looking for oh sukimoto moves forward on the monkey king yeah he's able to catch out chris but at what cost i mean he's just gonna get cleaned up by cj links in with the blade fury he is able to find him and azur is gonna post out the bkb from fortune so fortune soul supposed to back off and looks like the Lich is going to end up dropping as well. A buyback coming through from the Monkey King. As CJ, he just cannot be stopped. He's straight on to Enryu. And Enryu dropping low as well. As Azur, he's managed to find Valky on the side. Valky is going to pop the BKB. Try and get the hell out of this. Suki mode to try to secure the defeat. But he's not going to succeed. A triple kill here for CJ. And they're not stopping just yet. The Emerson oh, is going to be found as well. Azur really gets this tower down. But the back door is keeping it alive for quite a while. 
Yeah, it's gonna go down soon enough though. Azure is gonna get caught out. The BKB will be forced. There's the kickback coming through from no chance. He eats the arrow on the way as well. The Lich is gonna get taken down here. Valky is still not available for this fight. Fortune Soul of the BKB is trying to fight, but is not able to succeed. No chance has fallen, but Envy is gonna fall in turn. So it's a positive trade for the side of Pups. And in fact, Fortune Soul is gonna end up dropping as well as CJ cleans up on the members of Theon Esports. 17k net worth lead here for the side of Pups. As Azur eating a fair bit of magic damage, getting pissed out by the Agnum Scepter from Envy, who is gonna get. Uh, well, he's gonna be forced to TP out. CJ also gonna TP out. So, whoops, they do lose the tiny, but. They are splitting up uh, through the top area of the map, uh, trying to get as much farm as they can for oh, all their CJ. Goals. Yeah, he spotted out Envy over here, and Azur is also gonna be going in with the help of that tree wall. Yes, Envy ends up going rather low. Sukimoto is also gonna end up dropping the cross ship, keeps him alive, but not for long. CJ continues to fight into Valky. Valky does not have the refraction anymore. He's popped the BKB, but he's not all that survival. He tries to turn around with the Mel Strike, but he's not going to be able to find much. The Chain Frost, though, does rip through the side of books, yeah. but still is not going to be help. But guess what? There's a healing ward available on the jug, so everyone on Wolves is going to be able to heal back up to full and go for a round two if the buybacks do come through. No chance. It's going to go forward. It's going to be able to find the Lich and with Hated down for the count. Well, it looks like that might just be game here as Neon Esports are going to end up losing game two. Whoops are going to be able to claim the second GG. game and GG is called. That's it. Whoops. They will even up the series 1-1 one one in the BO5 against Neon Esports. Showing signs of life as well. Looks like uh, we might just have a very close BO5. Picking up a punch might just be suicide. So I'm curious to see what they do. The Batrider is a very solid answer though. The Batrider... All yeah. magic damage, uh, very you know, sustained magic damage as well. Except as he's able to heal through most of it. And again, uh, putting two points into the flame guard, he is able to mitigate more of the shadow raises uh, coming in. And pretty uh, good zoning out uh, Azura until the three minute mark. Yeah. And uh, Azur, he's got his own bottle flying out on the courier as well. Bottom lane, lots of right lanes being traded back and forth. The cookie is going to be there on the terror blade. And looks like no chance. He's going to keep himself alive with the snowball. Tsukimoto in the top lane draws first blood as he manages to take down, well, the Mirana. But uh, in the bottom lane, Fortune Soul's going to be just fine. He got a full fat wand. And as a result, he finds a kill. To secure a kill there and survive through uh, the damage output coming out from the Batrider. So, uh, again, I, I personally hate leaning against a Batrider because he is able to do so much of this early game damage and the roll coming yeah. in. That is a very good shot block from the Dusk and Hated. The Wand keeps him alive and unfortunately Krish does not have the XP to dive through. He's still going forward though with the Napalm. Should be able to get the kill on Snapfire but the raindrops come in time from the Courier. It does not matter though the right click from Krish will finish the job. What the hell is No Chance doing? Yo? Okay, oh! Well, never mind! Color reach <laughs> of the third raise there so yeah he couldn't follow it up with that final raise and instead I had to guess. Be misplay, but down bottom it looks like uh, Fortune Soul is gonna be in trouble. He's got a full wand to work with here. He's trying to bait them deeper into the tower. He will be able to uh, survive a little while enough, long enough for Sukiro to come through. And actually, Chris is gonna end up dropping the swift napalm. Uh, so I think uh, it's gonna be mm -hmm. pretty well for the side of Neon as long as they keep their early game momentum going and not die oh, no. a lot on any of the heroes. Yeah, Krish gonna get gone upon again. Three heroes converge on him, and that's gonna be the death of the Batrider. As he's been left all alone down bottom, no chance. Made an appearance in the top lane, so Neon pretty much aware that he's not gonna have any backup in Krish. I mean, that's just the hand he's been dealt in life. You know, that's just what he has to play with. He's at level 6, though, so there is gonna be some kill potential for him. Towards the mid lane, Parasite will end up dropping as uh, double damage rune from Valky. This proves to be a bit too much yeah. for the Mirana to handle, but now that he does not have any mana remaining, well, never mind, he's still got a full fat one, and in fact, Valky might have just turned this fight around as oh, he's gonna my. pop pick offs here because uh, then it makes a lot of space for the lifestealer. Uh, if they are able to just get some smoke oh, kills, uh, okay, meanwhile... uh, so, well, uh, that was a cute attempt, and Valky, he is still standing there, he's actually eating the Requiem, he's actually gonna no. stand and Fight the Shadow Fiend as he gets cleaned up. Okay. And Azur not gonna be too pleased about that. I mean, Sukimoto, he was just waiting for that SF to make a move, and well, 
He ends up getting that kill down bottom though. They are trying to find hated a position yeah, 5 snap no fire will be cleaned up and Chris teeping in on that C streep as well. Looks like they should be able to pick up Andrew too. C is going to get cleaned up. Only other way that they can find anything significant out of these pickoffs that Dyer's they're able to find here in this Dyer's mid game. Attack. Yeah. And again, if you look at the Shadowfane, he's uh, struggling quite a bit, just having only 7,000 net worth, whereas the Ember... Okay, there's another engagement. Uh-huh, it seems like they have been able to clean up Tsukimoto on that Hoodwink, and as well as there's some moving on the map right now. Uh, CJ, he has uh, had an okay game so far. It's not been the best, nothing to write home about, and looks like it might just get a little bit worse, but this time around the Snowball save is going to be there, but look at that cute Lotus Orb coming through from Tsukimoto. Valky, the BKB is going to be there, the Requiem. Well, it gets pump baked, so that BKB might have just been baited. The Tusk is going to end up dropping, and Krish might just die as collateral damage here. He's forced to pop the BKB. The Infest is going to come through, and now they go. They turn their attention towards the Dawnbreaker. He's got the BKB still keeping herself alive, Azure. Well, he's going to be able to get that Requiem off, and that's going to be the death of the Ember Spirit, but they've got nothing in the tank to deal with Fortune, so the big bad Terror Blade's here to play. And there's no answer whatsoever. Tusk, he's bought back, but what the hell? They do get the Glyph off a more coming out from three man from the side of whoops will they be able to catch the entire side of uh, neon esports they have not the entire side only three of them are present here will they be able to catch them out uh life sealer in, infested tower. inside no Zander chance to come into play right Zander now uh-huh and looks like hated is going to be deleted right off the bat but so is no chance valky on the ember spirit just uh, destroying the members of whoops and well fortune soul is going to be supposed to pop the bkb himself valky though on that ember is going to be able to clean up azure Finds himself a kill, and even though they're out of the metamorphosis on the Terror Blade, oh. looks like it's gonna be enough to win them the fight. They have the Aegis again, so as long as they play this really smart, they will be winning the next team fight, and then they'll be getting straight on to uh, the objectives again. This mm. Ember with the Aghanim Scepter is gonna be really yeah. scary. Tusk with the snowball try to stay alive but not gonna be too successful. The SF gets clean. 21 seconds, it's gonna be a pretty easy secure on these towers. CJ mm -hmm. does try to and, Oh, okay, yeah, no, no, CJ. He cannot just do that. Is he just gonna die to right clicks? Oh my god, that was close. Trish comes in for a clutch infest and fortune soul drops low and he's gonna get lassoed back into the tier fours there might be some hope if they can take him down here once he's still got the bkb though so it's not gonna be as easy malky jumps in he's gonna be able to clean up the mirana gets back out towards safety forces out the moonlight shadow creates enough space for the terror blade to get back towards his team as well but sukimoto is gonna end up dropping not for free though because they game and i know that sounds very pessimistic but that's that's the truth here. You, you can't really come back in a game when there's a 20k network deficit unless you know something about Dota that your opponents don't. And it yep. doesn't seem like that's the case here with Whoops. Oh, well, he loses the courier and his life as well. So, I, again, man, Whoops seem to be really struggling through this game and there's oh, no, no space. Man. Yeah, and that's the mind breaker. Coming in handy for Andrew there as uh, the <laughs> Tawnbreaker. They just lose no chance as he was uh, caught destroying the sentry ward, I, I believe. Fortune Soul, knowing that whoops are not in their base, is going to be able to clean up up on. Oh my god, the burst damage! It is insane coming through from the side of whoops. They instantly clean up Fortune Soul. The lasso and the Requiem of Souls is too much to deal with. As they managed to take out the Dawnbreaker as well, Tsukimoto might just be next here. He's trying to go into the trees and stay alive, but no chance has fought back. And with their help from the Tusk, they're able to secure the kill on the Hoodwink. As the Tusk just gave a few words of in a second or two, that fight would have gone completely differently. And now Neon, I mean, they might end up finding Parasite over here as the Observer scouts them out. But Krish, he's got hated on the Snapfire, Blink. Along with the Requiem coming through from Azure, that's going to be a very, very long period duration as they manage to clean up two heroes on the side of Neon. The Dawnbreaker goes down and so does the Snapfire. What else can they find though? That's the question. No chance. Ends up biting the dust and so does going to be the lasso down for 60 seconds. 60 seconds with the Terror Blade is free to beat into the tier 3s yeah. and their structures. But uh, they might not even go for that instead. Just pick up the free ages that they should be able to get. Instant smoke up by Whoops mm -hmm. though. It's four members standing. The Hex revealed from Azura coming through. There's going to be the damage and that's going to be the death of the Dawnbreaker as Neon Esports 
Well, again, it seems like they were caught napping. CJ on the life stealer. He pops the rage. He's not seeing best. No, he does not. He's trying to bad fight Fortune Silver. He does not succeed. Azur trying to get out with the BKB TP. He will succeed. It works. They bite off more than they can chew. They wanted to find more after. They're getting quite a bit of stuns, but is it worth it? Yeah, definitely worth it against the life stealer because you don't really have that lockdown on your esports. You don't have BKB piercing. The savers are gonna have to hold on to that thought because Valky is actually been hexed up. He goes a bit too deep. The Mortimer kisses are great. They're on to four heroes, but where's the follow up? It's just not there. Fortune Soul looks at his teammates, gets slotted, says, "I'm not having any of this. None of that, Valky. That's all on you." And he just ducks his tails and runs. And Krish. He's yeah. on the hunt now. He's trying to look for a big off, and he's gonna find it. The snapfire is gonna be another casualty of war as Neon Esports they lose too. Valky overextending on that Ember Spirit and Krish. He is not done yet. He really wants to punish the side of Neon Esports over here. He's got that level twenty. Because yeah, they already lost a high ground engagement with the Aegis on the Terror Blade, uh, just because the Ember was not able to survive for long enough. So. We'll have to see now how oh, they will well, be. Speaking of the Ember Spirit, the BKB is going to get popped, but the Linkus was popped too, so Lasso is going to be there. Do they have enough damage to take him down? No, they do not. That's the rage used from CJ. He has got to be careful with where he goes, but he's got the BKB to work with. He picked it up after that last fight. Does he have the infest? No, he does not, but the Moonlight Shadow keeps him alive. A great play came from Azura. He managed to catch on Fortune Soul with the Red Beam. That's going to be three heroes going down for the side of Theon Esports. And the only one losing their life on whoops is going to be no chance on the task. And Krish moving forward on that bad rider. It's the flying napalm boiling up. As uh, both teams do not want to engage each other first. Oh, but again here. Yeah, Valky, he has spotted out Parasite who has been hexed up. Azur blinked in to try and save his buddy. Lincoln's was popped, but refresher up is available onto Valky. Valky is keen on finding the Mirana. And guess what? In the meantime, they have sorted Envy. Envy does not have buyback on the Dawnbreaker. That's going to be Envy down for 120 seconds. And there's Azura going in with the... BKB, oh. Requiem, Fortune Souls cleaned up as this BKB was popped. Tsukimoto is gonna be next. That's three heroes down with no buyback whatsoever on the side of Neon Esports as Wolves. Then float this game wide open and the arrow from Parasite also connected on Valky and that's gonna be the death of the Embers for who also doesn't have buyback. Whoops, blow this game wide open and Roshan is theirs wow. for the taking. Oh, what a beautiful play coming out from the side of Team Whoops, uh, being able to focus down the heroes. Uh, you know, I think Ember committed too much onto this Mirana using most of his remnants, uh, trying to get the kill down using the BKB as well. Whereas they call GG on the side of Neon. That's it, GG scored. I mean, Whoops didn't know that they didn't have buybacks. It was just victory. It was just a task in the bat rider in their base. Uh, it's not particularly good against the Naga or the Brana, but the Life Stealer is a very good option. And yes, gentlemen, I will. Uh, you know, I, I accept PayPal. I accept. I accept. Uh, you know, credit card, whatever you want, Neon Esports. Just call me after the game. Around the trees, dodges the Earth Spike. The right clicks coming through from Sukimoto, but they're not going to be able to clean up Azur as Azur. Baits out that rotation, lives to tell the tale, that is time wasted on the lion. And uh, well, that's gonna be a kill down bottom as there it is. Where once you run out of mana, there's really nothing for you to do in the lane. So it's gonna get that boots walk back to base, come back with full HP, full mana. And while this might delay his levels by a little bit, the extra denies he's got makes up for it. And it seems like no chance ends up uh, giving up a kill to the Skyrath maze. He try yeah, he's he's trying his hardest to try and uh, you know, maybe throw no chance off kill to a little bit. Let's see if that does happen. The top lane not going all that bad for the Mars. Oh, mid lane though. Going from bad to worse for the Zeus. He just TP'd back towards the mid lane. And Valky found level 6 on the oh. Tusk. Made the most of it. And with two heroes, it's going to be the death of the Zeus. In fact, I don't think Valky actually hit 6. I could have been wrong about that. But that might have just been... Him getting the kill at level 5 and then getting yeah, 6. What no. can really yeah. do is hope to sit back and farm and you know, maybe a misplay is going to come out from Neon Esports. But that's unlikely as Valky. He's gone in on that task. He doesn't finish off Parasite. In fact, he's going to have to back off. And now Azur, with the help of the Heavenly Jump, is going to be able to pick up the Skyrath Mage. No chance is going to take that kill away from him. What a steal. But uh, yeah, looks like Tsukimoto, he's managed to catch out CJ over here. Arrow flying through will not connect. Another Illusions. Also gonna get popped with the whirling death and CJ doesn't have the song of the siren over here. The Naga should certainly end up dropping. That Chakram will sing TP out, will be successful. There was no Tusk in the vicinity to cancel that and 
you know, I, I doubt he would have been able to do that too, even with the blink. It's just not possible. There's no spell that he can cast before the song hits you. Yeah. So yeah, that's that. Oh, but, no. uh oh, oh my God, that is a prediction and a half coming in from Neon Esports as they figure out that CJ he's probably going to be in his triangle after that gank attempt failed and after he has no song on the side and he's just going to walk back towards his own triangle. They pick up that kill and they also find no chance. Uh, towards the Radiant Jungle, where Azur is completely opposite to last time. Meanwhile, Clockwork does go on to Tsukimoto, and with that cause, he will be able to secure the kill onto him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. they're able to get something in turn at least. They're able to find the line, there's no chance. He's gonna get the credit for that kill, but it's gonna come at a cost as Azur is gonna get cleaned up here by the blink picked up from Valky. Fortune Souls there as well, and he's got that Lance of Pursuit, so he's got. Uh, does really enable them to do quite a lot, but again, the BKB or timing onto the Valky is uh, the important. CJ getting caught by the roll. Oh, CJ, he's actually managed to catch up Valky, and with the Orchid reveal, that's gonna be Valky going down. He has no way of dispelling that Orchid, and a free kill going the way of whoops. Or is it? Because they've managed to catch on Azur with the Earth Spike and the Finger of Death. That's gonna be the death of Zeus. But look at Krish, he's actually gone in. But Fortune Soul getting so many heals. The Guardian Breeze keeps him alive. The No Chance commits the hook shot. They're finally gonna be able to pick up the Lion. But at what cost? TJ's gonna end up dropping as well. And it costed them Arena. Whoops. They commit. They find another kill to work with. But I'm not too sure if. Uh, yeah, that, that kill was worth it as No Chance. Soon to be next on the list. Doesn't really have a TP out. Dies a slow and painful death at the hands of this life stealer. Does he get the deny? I'm not really sure that's the best item to go for because uh, I I understand it's easy to kill a single target with it, but when the entire team of Neon Esports is running at you, I'm not sure how effective an E Blade is gonna be. Uh, now again, uh, smoke gonna have to hold on to that thought. Great spear coming in through from Krish. Can they find the burst damage? They take down Fortune Soul rather low, but they cannot kill him from 100 to 0. Krish is gonna pop the BKB, try to get out. As he gets caught up by no chance here. It's a mystic flag. Krish is gonna end up falling in. Fortune Soul still healthy as a horse, charging forward. He wants to find more heroes on the side of Whoops. Punish them for their insolence over here. As Parasite with the Ancient Seal on top of his head. There's not much that he can do as he gets chopped down by Entry on the Timber Saw. Whoops are pushing the high ground uh, towards the oh, side of Team Whoops and... Yeah, well, uh, that E-Blade looks like it would well keep below 50% health, so... Zeus able to get some good damage out, but it's gonna come out of cost. The Rax will be lost. Oh my god, no shot. that's actually a very good hook shot. They're gonna be able to stun him, Fortune Soul, and that's gonna be the death of the Life Stealer. Valky now snowballing in into his own death. He's got that BKB, and he might be able to stay alive, but not for long. The Gods rebuke it goes through Magic Immunity, and with the Thunder Gods right, they're chasing for more. The Ethereal Blade's gonna slow down the Lion while the Timber Saw... Slides his way back towards safety, and they've even found the Skyrath Mage steeping out in the tree. Again, Neon yeah. Esports just caught sleeping at the wheel. As Trish, he's managed to find Andrew. Andrew, he's got the BKB. The arena will force it out from him, and now he's gonna try to get a return kill onto Krish. Krish, though still alive, still has the spear, and is looking to find that Timber Saw. But no, there's something else happening on the sidelines. They managed to find the supports on Neon Esports. The Skyrath Mage and the Lion both are gonna get caught out. And that's gonna be two kills going the way of Whoops. Major buyback though from the Lion as CJ. Gonna try to pop the song, but he's gonna get stunned up. And now the Mana Drain comes through. The BKB is gonna be there though. And this time around, Fortune Soul is gonna be able to beat into CJ. Or is he? Uh oh, the four star uh -oh. keeping him alive. There's gonna be the Ethereal Blade. The open wounds to slow down the Naga side. Another four star. Make it back out. Another four star. But oh. Another Cox here controlling the life stealer, making sure that the Naga is able to walk the hell out of there. And whoops, they've managed to keep the Naga side alive. No chance. I mean, he's probably gonna end up dropping over here, but again, it's gonna have been well worth it what? as they managed to take down Sukiboto, who fought back into this fight. And again, Trish with the plays might just be able to stay alive no the chakram's gonna find him that's gonna be the death of the mars and whoops in the end they got the ages of immortality so neon esports really do want to take a fight right now but they want to take a fight on their own terms because if they lose their line like this at the start of the fight that's gonna be all the disabled going down thankfully he's got the on disc as well as the shard gives him magic immunity so he's gonna be able to stay alive for a little bit longer but he's only gonna go back to the waiting arms of christian gets a two-man spear in the arena takes down both supports on the side of neon esports 
and he might die, but it could have been well worth it. Uh oh, Malki coming through with the snowball. He's caught out the Naga side, and the Naga side might end up dropping over here. The blood song, the blood song comes through, but the BKB is going to be there along with the Lotus off to ensure that the life stealer is able to pop that rage and take down CJ. Zeus gonna get caught out as well with the snowball and you god like with a triple kill while he punches the Zeus up a guts him into outer space and four buybacks committed from the side of Whoops. They want to try and find some revenge, but they are fighting into the ages. The lion not dead at the moment. Down for the count for 14 seconds. But look at that. Andrew has been caught out. The arrow connects, and that might just be the death of the timber saw. No chance comes in with the hook shot as well. And that's gonna be Andrew taken down. As Neon needs losing out the map, uh, losing out the match and being eliminated from the tournament. Yeah. Meanwhile, well, Lion CJ. gets CJ stunned. Uh oh. Yeah, he's gonna get caught out over here. He doesn't really have the song on the side to save himself. Remember, the Naga side does not have buyback. They really need to help CJ stay alive over here, and he's gonna die. Mm. 120 seconds without the Naga side, and that's gonna be him falling. But Neon Esports. They've lost the Skyrath Mage, they've lost the Lion, Fortune Soul blinking forward. He really wants to find treasures. The Bash is gonna be there. No Bash! He does not get the Bash! Four hits in! Bash is gonna survive here, and so is No Chance. The man Rock responsible for saving the Mars is Neon Esports. They get the Naga Siren, but they get robbed of another Dying cold kill. And so now Krish, attack. he's actually gonna push the Timbersaw back into the tower. Oh no, but the Warmest kick coming through from Val, he actually. Pushes him back towards safety. Yeah. And this play from the side of Neon Esports. As I'm not too sure what's going on, but Neon Esports, they seem to be scared. They're backing off here. And uh, yeah, I mean, the side of whoops. Neon Esports could be in a world of trouble. Yeah, and if I look at the net worth, it's on 9k towards the side of Neon Esports. But the win probability according to the game says 65% towards whoops and meanwhile in the top lane however uh oh Chris yeah he's gonna get spotted out he's gonna pop the BKB as well and expend the arena but is he gonna be able to stay alive there is a BKB on Fortune Soul and Chris is gonna end up falling likely for him he does have buyback so it's not the end of but... the world here but Roshan is up he's gonna be able to make sure that he doesn't get caught out and full retreat from whoops they pop the moonlight shadow they get back Dyer's they know that they don't have buybacks over here so any death could mean the end of the game and neon esports yeah. they will conserve a 25k net worth lead as they wait for valky to respawn and try and make Dyer's a play but look at whoops whoops they are not done yet sukimoto going in is that hook shot available the arrow oh my god what a brilliant play from the lion he was actually giving mana bring back towards fortune so providing him the magic immunity and he does not get stunned up no chance is dead but no buyback chris goes to pop the bkb cj gonna pop the ultimate try and get the hell out back towards safety but he's gonna be left behind by his teammates as you're going forward he's actually managed to clean up this guy that makes it chris comes in from the back line a two-man spear again as fortune soul and then you both get caught out but chris is gonna be taken down over here can cj survive yes he can he makes good of a window as you'll get for neon esports and no yeah, chance, definitely. also down for the count. Yeah, without any buybacks, uh, this is their chance to push the high ground. And the only person missing from Neon Esports is Lion, and he does not even matter when it comes to pushing towers. So uh, they have to push as soon as possible. Only a small window of 85 seconds. I mean, in Dota, that is not a small window. Uh, but 85 seconds is really good to get that towers down, uh, get that damage in, and maybe even try to get the game right here and right now. Uh, they will be going straight for the T Force. And is the damage output enough coming out from the side of Team Neon, will they be able to secure these t -fos and mm -hmm. get uh, into well, the okay. ancient? Valky, he's actually snowballed all the way back in towards their base and that's going to be the Aeon just popping for the task and now the Song of the Siren, CJ, he's going to hold on to his structures for a little while longer as Aiden makes a snarky remark in all chat, tells Chris to stop watching Tundra. Chris replies with a smiley face, but no, the life stealer, he's been hexed up. He's got the ages though, so he's gonna be fine for the time being. And you, his BKB Radiant's has been forced out as well. It's a life stealer, pummeling this tier 4 tower down, but the AoE lightning bolt coming through from the Zeus is gonna make him reconsider his options. As Sukimoto just intent on giving Enri all his mana back so he doesn't have to go back to base. A walking fountain, that's what the lion is, but Azul, he's been caught out, that's his buyback, he's gonna end up dropping no Zeus for 120 seconds, that might just be the game. The Naga Siren getting caught, getting smacked around, thrown around, and that is it. GG. Oops, they will lose all five heroes, and we are going to a game five between Neon Esports Radiant and Whoops in the Sky Esports Championship 4.0 lower bracket finals. Neon Esports.
it was be the Medusa coming out from whoops. Yeah. And oh, oh, what? All right. Well, what? we've got a game on our hands, folks. This is going to be an offlane anti mage, I believe, in the hands of Enryu. And that is going to have to make a dedicated effort to shut down this anti mage if he gets too big. And that could be problematic as Enryu walking forward on the anti mage CJ is going to get caught out. And with that slow from the mana void, I mean, mana break, sorry, that's going to be first blood going the way of Enryu. Uh, yeah. And if we keep an eye out on this lane, I think Medusa will be struggling quite a bit just because of the mana burn coming out to get his item timings pretty well. Uh, he's going to be uh, pretty much oh, wow. comfortably getting his farm down as well. Yeah, well, that balance and all things. That's the Wild Wing Ripper bug being exploited by the Doom, where even though you stop moving around, that tornado persists uh, even after... Uh, you know, that Wild Wing dies. Parasite's gonna end up dropping here towards the top lane, but CJ might be able to get a return kill. One more right click will do it, and he will find it, but at what cost? Centaur. Well, that's gonna be a brief intermission, and CJ, I think he's just given up. He's gonna end up dropping here yeah. as Enryu. Gonna get the kill. It's in a yet to hit level 6, but with this wave, we should be seeing at least one of them uh, get that ult point up and going and. Yeah, this game is going to get a little bit faster. Down in the bottom lane, though, it looks like Krish got caught out. With that mm -hmm. silencer and the Wraith King catching him off guard as CJ getting dove under his own tower up top. There is nothing oh. Parasite can do to help this Medusa. As that's going to be the death of CJ. Blink comes through from Enryu as he outplays Parasite again. And now Parasite could end up dropping, but no chance. Actually, TP'd up top. This could be Enryu falling. One more right click will do the yeah. job. And Parasite gets a crit. Oh, yes. oh no, Azura's been spotted. Yeah, I think the Observer bot caught him making this rotation, and now they're certainly gonna find him. In fact, the science is gonna come through on the Ember Spirit, and Envy with the mana break is actually fighting Azur oh. head on. He's gonna lose his entire mana void, but there's a side of his chains coming through. He will be able to claim Sukimoto. And Enryu, he's popped the mana void, and he's burned Parasite's mana away as well. As even though Enryu might not wait never mind he's diving he's got the vanguard he is not Dyer's afraid he out. is going am and parasite can only try and stay alive a little bit longer as Enryu dives and gets the kill down when gotten the kill here but cj uh -oh. is life uh oh is going from bad to worse because guess what fortune soul and Enryu have made their way over here and it's going to be the death of the anti-mage sorry death of the medusa down in this bottom lane with the anti-mage rotation top tower is under yep. attack it's uh, looking pretty bad for the side of whoops right now and again the tiny oh. going in on to the grimstruck yeah it seems like uh they is going to be able to pop out the global silence hit and that is going to save the life of uh, the tiny but not for too long he will still end up falling but look at all oh. these return kills that neon are getting in turn they're able to get the doom they're able to get the ember Grimstroke already fed, having the mana burn, but it still sucks to play against offlane anti mage because just what the hell are you gonna do if he blinks on top of you? You know, there's a global silence, yeah. there's an ancient seal, there's a concussive shot, and before you know it, you've just been mana voided and you're dead. Uh oh, fortune I mean, soul. Yeah, whoops are gonna try over here, but it's extremely hard to take down this Wraith King. And in fact, Azur, if he's not careful, he could go down himself over here. He tries to go for the two man doom, will succeed in getting it. And there it is. They finally managed to get some semblance of control back into this game. As the anti base will end up dropping. Chris will get the credit for that kill, but they've already lost Parasite. CJ is all out of mana. Fortune so going forward is gonna be able to clean them up. Azur is nowhere to be found. He might be a little bit too late. Krish pops oh. the BKB, but there's just too much physical damage coming through from the Wraith King as whoops will lose four. The Desolator completed on the Wraith King, and he's hunting for more. He wants to get the Ember Spirit. There's gonna be the toss-up as well. And the physical damage will it take out Azura? Oh yes, it will. It's gonna be a triple kill for Fortune Soul as whoops. What are you gonna do against this Wraith King? Uh, okay, I you find items, you get items to deal with the anti mage, but in the end, what do you do with this Wraith King who is gonna be six slotted super soon because of how much space? the aim is making oh man Radiant that's a blade mill purchase from your ember spirit and when you see that you know things have gone south azure wow. spinning swelled up they might be able to get the anti mage over yeah as he's doped a bit too deep under the tower but he's still standing strong courtesy of that vanguard doesn't take all that much magic damage as well and 
There's a soul bind coming through. Trish, he's got the BKB, but he does not have the Doom. How can they find these skills? He's just trying to go forward, but looks like the anti mage will be able to blink away, and Trish just gets half of his HP deleted with a crit coming through from the Wraith King, and this might be the death of the Doom as he gets cleaned up. Three heroes dead on the side of Whoops and Neon Esports. And they... So, and when you have a oh, hero no. like anti mage... Oh, okay. Yeah. Bottom lane, Medusa, she's been caught out with the Rod of Atos and the Anti-Mage goes in. Parasite is going to be the one to tank the gank for her little snake friend. But looks like Valky, I mean, he is so tanky on that tiny, they're not even able to get that kill. Fortune Soul jumps in on the Wraith King. There's Endu as well. He doesn't have the Mana White just yet, but the Mana Burn is going to be more than enough to find the kill onto CJ. CJ drops. The Ember Strength's gonna end up dying as well with the Ancient Seal. Trish pops the BKB. He's popped the Doom on the Wraith King as well. He's trying to find the kill, but is he gonna succeed? Doesn't look like it's gonna be the case. The toss comes through from Valky on the Tiny. And that's gonna be the death of Trish. As now no chance. The last surviving member of Whoops. He's gonna be cleaned up as well. Enryu hunting, looking for the old Magic Grandma. And that's gonna be the death of the Snapfire as well. Five man. the high ground and end the game. Meanwhile, mm -hmm. yeah, there's a Mystic Flag going out onto the Medusa. She's lost all her mana, and Krish, because he does not have the BKB, cannot get the Doom off. He's gonna be dead. He didn't have the Doom anyway. He's just gonna get it as he dies. But regardless, that sort of fight that Whoops wanted to take, it is still surviving on his level of HP. Will finally end up dropping, but at what cost? The Doom is dead. No chance is dead. Parasite's dead. Three members on the side of Whoops have gone down just to get one yeah. measly silencer. And looks like the Ember Spirit, he could have been next had it not been for that slight of Uh, yeah, Medusa has to be careful and oh no, Andrew, he's gone. And there's the Mana White, oh. there's the Abyssal Blade reveal and that's going to be CJ. He's going to fall here. And no chance. Well, he's able to get the four stuff off and keep himself alive, but his Medusa is a different story. Now, the Wraith King pushing in the top lane, the Anti-Mage pushing in the mid lane. Whoops, they're gonna have to fight a battle on multiple fronts here. As this top tier 3 is gonna end up dropping a hero's BKB being popped somewhere. I'm not too sure whose BKB that is. It is gonna be the BKB from Trish. He does end up finding a two-man dupe. There's the water Muskies is coming through. No global silence for this fight. They managed to take down the silence. So the Wraith King's first time is gonna be gone as well. Valky dropping low. He's gonna be able to make it back out towards safety. There's the cookie coming in from no shots. And that's gonna be the death of the Tiny. But the Anti-Mage surviving through it all just not affected by the magic damage from the doom and he's back for revenge he's turning he's turning his attention towards christian that's gonna be the death of the doom here oh Watch my soul god clicks in, gets the kill on the snap fire but cj he's got the stone keys at the ready and fortune soul is gonna be punished over here if he's not too careful because no chance did buy back but endu has joined the fray he's getting mana void soon enough can he find it the stun comes through there's the scatter on the right oh. next up yes they are and at last, whoops, they were in this uh, high ground uh, yeah. set of racks, probably right now. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult. There's a Yule Scepter available onto Azura. He's getting pelted in the face by the Tiny, but he's got the Blade so he's actually returned all of that damage onto Valkyrie, and that's gonna be the Aegis down. No commitment required from whoops. Well, but it looks like the Doom, he is going to get gone upon by Enryu and once again the Medusa is in there with the Stone Gaze. The Tiny being doomed up as well. Can they get the kill on the anti mage? Yes, they can. But Fortune Stone is also in the middle of things and the Medusa, now out of Stone Gaze, has to be worried. Can her mana shield last long enough and can she survive the Wraith King's aggression? Looks like she might not be able to. There's the Wraith Fire Blast coming through and the Medusa getting forced up with the Arcade Curse along with the damage over time from the Wraith Fire Blast. Will take her down, no chance, also dropping really, really low. There's the last one upon him. Can he even make it back to base? Yes, he can. He's gonna keep himself alive, but at what cost? Enry was bought back, Parasite's bought back as well from the side of books, and there's gonna be a buyback from CJ as well. The Ember Spirit's gonna get caught 100 seconds without Azur, and this might just be it. Enry blinking in, trying to create some space as they get themselves the second set of racks, and in fact, Fortune Soul, he's going straight for the game. He's going for the jugular. They want to take down this throne. They want to secure their spot in the grand finals, in the game, in the final game against Reaper Hashtag. And it looks like this is going to be it. CJ is going to end up dropping. Whoops, they have lost all And they call G. Final surviving member on the side of Whoops. GG is going to be called. And that is it. The odd esports are going to be our grand finals in the Sky Esports Champions.
Fight! 